Como ya la vi Solita pues me pregunté ¿Qué pasa cuando me bailó? Cerquita Eso fue descomunal Dale, dale, tra, tra Tú sabes cómo es Vamos a hacerlo, mami Contra la pared I'm nervous. <laughs> Trigger warning. All my life, I kind of struggled with my intake of food, whether it was eating too little or eating way too much. I absolutely have an issue with binge eating. I remember a, a time period where I was only eating about 800 calories a day. When I went to the gym, I would go on the treadmill and make sure that I saw 800 calories on the treadmill, plus weightlifting. I thought that I had done everything possible in the gym to get to the body of my dreams. Although I thought I did everything right, I wasn't. So I'm not mad at myself for that. I've been a gym rat for nine years and I've made every mistake in the book and I'm still learning to this day, but I know better now. Welcome to Time with Tally. My name is Tally and I hope you spend some time with me today. Today, I am making my first ever YouTube video. It's kind of funny because even though you may not know me, this being the first video I ever make, choosing this as a topic, being a little controversial in a sense, it, it kind of says a lot about my personality. <laughs> so I hope it doesn't scare you off right away. So I started this YouTube channel basically to hopefully impart some inspiration to everyone that watches and also help people not feel alone. I have made this video numerous times already and I literally have hit record and deleted a bunch of times. And my first time I actually recorded, it felt incredibly ingenuine and inorganic. I made a whole setup in my extra room. I literally decided to just scrap it all and just bring you all into my bedroom <laughs> because that's where I feel most comfortable and I'm not as nervous to talk to you about this journey. I am just here with this video today to remind you that everyone's journey is different and you are not confined to a box, okay? Society a lot of times makes us feel as if we should only like this thing and stick to it and stick to the arena of that one thing. But as humans, we are so complex and beautiful. We should be allowed to do whatever. As in, if you like, for example, sports, you're also allowed to like literature, poetry. If you like science, you are allowed to like performing arts, things like that. So guess what? If you've also had cosmetic procedures, it's perfectly okay for you to actually like fitness. A lot of people like to talk about how if you had this surgery, you shouldn't do this. If you had a BBL, you shouldn't be giving any fitness advice. And don't get me wrong, I do understand that there are people out there that are trying to provide educational resources whilst also giving, for lack of better words, false advertisement. Of course, I understand. Because we do have children on social media, we do have younger impressionable people on social media, and it actually leads into how I ended up getting surgery. I will always encourage others to do their research and make sure that you're looking up people that actually know what they're talking about and can educate you properly. All right, so let's just give some background context and I will try my best to keep this short. I had always been a chubbier girl. My weight fluctuated so easily. It was like a roller coaster. I had really bad acne, had the glasses. I also was a part of a Christian um, household, but it was a very, very strict religious household. I was Pentecostal Christian. In that doctrine, I was not allowed to wear pants. I wasn't allowed to wear makeup. I wasn't allowed to wear jewelry. I wasn't allowed to touch my hair. It was very strict on what women could and could not do. That limited me. That limited my personality. That limited who I wanted to attempt to become. It stopped me from playing sports. It stopped me from really trying out any other extracurriculars when I was younger. So I just kind of did what I could where I kind of compensated by doing really well in class. I always got really great grades. I always got every single academic award you can think of, period. I still have them. <laughs> Then we get to high school. In high school, I actually kind of peaked. Not really. I actually ended up finding extracurriculars more tailored to the things that I liked. And by this time, my family, we had already exited out of the strict religious doctrine. It allowed for me to have more freedom in expressing myself and also just discovering my personality, discovering who I was growing up as a, you know, a young woman. 
in high school is where I discovered more of my physically active side. I tried out for track once, but I don't want to talk about that. I also did like gymnastics, dance. I even did aerial silks at one point, like the circus stuff. I was actually the strongest girl in my theater club. I was the one picking up the guys. <laughs> In college is probably where I discovered the gym because I realized I didn't have access to those sports and other extracurricular things that I used to be a part of in high school. I'm a very creative person and I had no outlets to really allow my creativity and my physical energy to really just do whatever I wanted. I ended up having a couple relationships that ended up going south and my weight fluctuated with all of them. The thing is also, I don't do anything in a small fashion, I feel. When I gained weight, I gained anywhere from 40 to like 70 pounds. And then when I lost weight, I lost anywhere from 40 to 70 pounds. Like it wasn't like I was doing just like <laughs> two pounds. No, like I was, I was going hard, bro. <laughs> I was also struggling with the fact like I was coming into my womanhood. I did not feel woman enough because clearly society makes us feel that way. Whether you're too fat, too skinny, too light, too dark. <laughs> too short, too tall. No matter what it is, women will never be good enough for society. And I didn't realize that at the time. Now I don't care. I love myself regardless. I have one big titty and one really small one. Two cup sizes difference. I literally thought, I was like, I'm nothing like a woman, this is crazy. I have a huge upper body, very uneven breasts. I have a lower voice for a woman. I thought I was not woman enough. I will say this, at the time I did allow my insecurities to dictate my decisions. My insecurities included my back, my arms, my shoulders, my chest, everything having to do with my upper body. I could have sworn I was built like an uppercase Y and I was period, but I love that now because I'm back to that. I will be making another video in regards to how I got to where I am now because I definitely do not look the same from after surgery. For lack of better words, I think I kind of reversed my surgery because the body that I have now is way closer to my genetics versus what happened to me after surgery. This leads into my decision of getting a BBL. A couple months prior to that, I actually had a friend that said she wanted to go get one done and she'd been wanting one for quite a while. So we're on the phone and she was like, hey, like, would you wanna like come with me, stay in the hotel with me, whatever. And then she kind of made a joke and she was just like, imagine if you like laid in the bed with me and I kind of made it too. And I was like, imagine we were just like laying there together recovering, ah ha ha, like he he ha ha, like this is a joke. Little did she or I even know that at the end of that phone call, I would be researching BBLs because I actually thought about it and I said, I'm gonna do it. I was researching doctors, prices, procedure, um, all the things that you can think about, flights, hotels, whatever, recovery houses. That's how I kind of knew. One, I have a problem with impulsivity, but also this was gonna be a step I was gonna take. I'm one of those people, it could be my ADHD. <laughs> Once I, have my mindset on something, I'm going to go for it. One way or another, I'm gonna figure it out. Here's the thing, I had always had a butt. I always had a butt. Thank God to the Puerto Rican genes. Boricua and Ananiga, period. I had an issue with my proportions from the front view. I wanted that hourglass look. When I got to the doctor, I basically told her, listen, I do not want almost like anything in my butt. The biggest thing that I want a difference in is really my hips. You can put a little bit on my outer thigh. I want to feel like a woman. Boy, was I mistaken. The last thing that I want is a diaper booty. And guess what I got? <laughs> Pampas. <laughs> I went from one insecurity, being my upper body bigger than my lower half, to now I have the earth on my butt. If it's not one thing, it's gonna be the other when you don't love yourself. After seeing the results of the surgery, I decided enough is enough. I'm going to do anything and everything possible to love myself and get to a point that I'm okay with who I am. That is my story on why I got a BBL in the first place. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. You guys already know what to do. I will see you in another video. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. Come here.
Everyone say hi to Remy. Oh,